everyone. So we're in Kuala Lumpur now. We flew from Krabi yesterday to Kuala Lumpur. And then when we got here, we had a little bit of a nightmare getting checked in. We're currently staying in like someone's apartment. It's kind of like Airbnb vibes, but we booked it through booking.com. And we had a little bit of a nightmare trying to get in. We were sat downstairs for like three hours before we could get let in. And then they didn't tell us that we could get let in when we could get let in. And then, yeah, there was just a little bit of a stress with us trying to get in. So then when we got in, it was like getting dark outside. So we popped through a few shops, had some food, and then we didn't really get up to much yesterday, but I'll insert the clips now so you can see what we got up to, because we did go to like two shopping malls. <laughs> yesterday and now today we're gonna have a look around Kuala Lumpur see some of the sites like the towers and um, KLCC Park and just sort of try and see as much of Kuala Lumpur as we can as then tomorrow we're going to the Batu Caves which is like an hour two hours on like public transport to get to so we want to make sure that we've done enough of Kuala Lumpur today so then we can decide whether we want to extend our stay a little bit longer or if we will be ready to go for when we plan to go. We made this mistake in Thailand and booked everything before we came so when we got to Thailand there were places that we absolutely loved but we didn't get a chance to stay there for longer because we'd already booked everywhere else so we decided that for the rest of the trips we're just going to book so as we go and then that way we can decide if we do want to stay somewhere a little bit longer if we love it and we can also leave if we feel like it's not as good as what we hope so yeah that is the plan for today i'm wearing a little dress today because it is quite warm obviously still it is going into monsoon season though which is obviously not ideal we did get caught in the rain last night and got absolutely soaked but i am going to bring my raincoat with me and this is just nice it's light it's airy i feel like i might not get too hot in it especially because it is sunny right now and we're going to be doing a lot of walking today and I also am running out of clothing options. <laughs> I've got so much clothes that need to be washed and we haven't found a laundrette yet. We have been like hand washing like certain stuff as we go. I think I mentioned that in another vlog, but there's some stuff where it's just like, it's kind of hard to hand wash it. Like when you've got a tiny little sink to hand wash things in, we kind of just need like a laundrette. So maybe today, babe, we should look for a laundrette because then we could pop out tonight and then we can collect it tomorrow when we get back. Yeah, other than that, I don't think I really have much to catch you guys up on because we've literally just got here. The flight was really easy. I actually bumped into this girl on the flight, like I was sat next to her, and she said to me that when she was in Krabby, someone thought I was her. Well, she was me, should I say, the way around. Basically, she was singing on karaoke and she said her name was Jasmine, because her name is Jasmine, and that she was from England. So someone who watched my videos then thought, oh my God, is that me? And then went over to her and said, oh my God, are you Jasmine Glover? She was like, no, like that's not me. But I do kind of see it. We have the same color eyes. But she did look kind of similar to me, didn't she? Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Because the whole time when she was looking at me, I was like, we literally have the same color eyes. So I kind of see why the person might have thought that that was me. But yeah, I just thought that was really weird because then she was saying to me, she was like, it's just so weird that that happened a few days ago and now I'm literally sat next to you on a flight to Kuala Lumpur. She was like, what are the chances? And I was like, how weird. So yeah, that obviously wasn't me, but I was in Krabi probably literally like a few days before or a few days after, because obviously we flew, well, we got back to Krabi and then we flew from Krabi. Um, and I don't know when it was that she was like recognized as me. Um, but yeah, crazy. I've actually met so many of you guys in Thailand. Honestly, must have met about 40. 30 to 40. I mean, at the full moon party, I met nine of you guys alone. Harvey's bets was eight, and I think I met nine. And then when I was on like Pig Island, I met loads of you guys as well. So yeah, very, very fun. It's been nice. It's been nice to chat to you guys and like have a little bit of girly convo, because obviously with it just being me and Harvey, I've not had that yet. 
But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because I feel like I'm rambling now and we're gonna make a move and go see some sights. shopping mall which is right next to the towers for some breakfast we're currently heading to the food court because where we're staying we actually don't have like that much stuff around us really like there's not like a night market or anything like that or like a market in the day so we've come into here to get some tea we did pop into 7-eleven first but they didn't really have much like breakfasty lunch food they didn't have any toasties did you notice that i noticed that because i was thinking oh if in doubt toasty it out but they didn't have any toasties <laughs> so we've come on to the food court well we're not on the food court yet but we've come up to the food court and hopefully we can get something to eat there oh my god baby they've got croc star Where? over there oh, we'll have to have a look here yeah i was actually saying yesterday i feel like i need some new crocs i think all the um like grip on the inside of my shoes and also the outside of my shoes has really like deteriorated i mean i have had the crocs for about a year and i do wear them religiously but when we were walking yesterday my feet were just slipping all over the place both when i was actually walking and my feet inside the crocs so i was saying how i might have to get some new ones and they literally have the have big crocs now? are yeah if you want guys they have the shrek crocs i wanted to get these so bad but they didn't ship to the UK and I didn't want to pay ridiculous amounts of money for them. But they only have them in kid sizes. Oh, I'm gutted. You guys know Shrek is my favourite film ever. Um, but we are going to Singapore and at Universal Studios they have a Shrek land. So I'm hoping they might have some there uh, in the adult sizing because you best believe I will be getting them. I literally saw Anna Maynard's boyfriend had got them the other day and I messaged her being like, how the hell did he get these? Like, they don't ship to the UK. And he was like, no, he paid like £145 for them. And I was like, right, yeah. I didn't really want to pay that much, especially because I'm going traveling. So I said like, oh, if I'd have gotten before, I probably wouldn't have got much use out of them. But like I said, we are going to Shrekland in Singapore Universal Studios. So best believe if I have some, I will be wearing them on that day because that will be hands down probably the best day of my life. I'm not even joking. <laughs> We're now in KLCC Park. This is actually where they do like the water fountain show on an evening. Look how lovely, the weather is so nice today. Me and Harvey were saying that we felt like this park was gonna be a lot bigger than what it actually is. It feels quite small, especially compared to Lumpini Park. Lumpini Park was so big, but very nice and this is where we were for food and then here you look behind you've got the Katrina Towers as well so we're gonna have a lot of wander around and see if we can get a better view of them but it's kind of giving London vibes do you know what I mean minus the heat minus the heat but like I feel like this or like Brisbane as well it's really, I mean it just literally gives city vibes really who am I kidding it literally is a city so that's why <laughs> the city gallery this is what the building looks like on the outside and we just thought we'd have a little nosy we were really hoping there was going to be air con but there isn't that much air con because we are obviously really really hot and then this is the mosque we actually did just try to walk through this but because it's friday they have the friday prayer on so we actually got told we obviously had to walk around there it down we were on our way to the botanical gardens it's obviously a garden which is supposed to be quite beautiful during the day when it's sunny maybe not so much when it's raining so we're now going to head into this museum that is right next to the mrt stop which we just got off at to try and kill a little bit of time because we do not really want to be walking around the botanical gardens in this weather luckily though i did bring my raincoat today so 
we're all covered. Harvey's got his on as well. We're now in the museum. It cost 10 ringgit altogether, five ringgit each, I think. And Joe, we're just gonna have a wander around. We've now taken our jackets off. There is aircon in here, which is lovely, because both me and Harvey were saying our jackets were sticking to us from the inside as we were wet. But yeah, we're in the museum now. We have actually no idea what the museum is about, but as we wander around, we'll learn. Today we're going to the Batu Caves. Very excited, however, I'm really not looking forward to the amount of steps to get up to it. But it's all part of the experience. My dad and my stepmom have actually been here before. So I'm excited because now I can find well, obviously not right now, but once I've done it, then I can finally be like, I did it too, sort of thing. And then obviously like compare pictures and whatever, because I've been sending my family all like updates and stuff. And um, I did actually have a little FaceTime call with Callum this morning. And then like, I think Byron, Callum and Anna, I think there was only the three of them, were also in the room at the same time. So that was really nice. It was nice to speak to some people from home and um, because I've not really spoken to anyone really other than like my parents and like Harvey's parents. Other than that, it's just, yeah, it's just, just been the two of us. We went and watched the light show last night actually, which you will have seen, because I don't think I actually said in the vlog that we'd done that. That was really cute. And then I actually bought a book. Now, anyone who knows me well knows I do not read whatsoever, but obviously there's so much like time that we're spending on like flights and buses and stuff like that and like sometimes you can't use your phone because obviously there's no service or whatever and it's just nice to have like a little break when you're chilling and doing something so i bought this book i've seen so many people rave about it on tiktok and apparently it's got like a really hooking story and i feel like that's what i need to be able to read a book so i picked up this one so you guys in the comments will have to let me know if you think it's any good but yeah it's just all i've been seeing all over tiktok a few of my friends have read this book and said that it's really good i was actually debating getting it before i came out and then i decided against it because i was like oh but I'm, i might not and then we stumbled into a bookstore yesterday and i was like you know what i'm gonna get a book and i was like well if you get a book then i'm gonna get a book so we shall see how I get on. Hopefully I might finish it by the time that we leave. Um, I just am quite a slow reader and I struggle with reading because I end up reading the same line over and over again, like multiple times. <laughs> and I've even tried like the ruler method and I still somehow end up reading the same line over and over again. So I get a bit frustrated sometimes, but we shall see how it goes. I hope that I enjoy it because I have it now and I've got to carry this for the rest of my trip. So if I don't enjoy reading it, I'm going to be really disappointed. But yeah, we're going to go now. I'm going to stop rambling. And I just thought of my dad thing because my dad always says, come on, ramblers, let's get rambling. And I always sit rambling. Um, we have arrived. I don't think you can see it very well on this camera because it's a little bit zoomed out. But the steps start here and they finish up here. I think there's just short of 300 steps to the top. And I can't quite fathom the fact that I'm actually going to have to walk up them. <laughs> they do look pretty though, I must say. They're very colourful, rainbow. We've made it probably about halfway up to the top, maybe actually a bit further. Would you say we're more than halfway? halfway. <laughs> yeah, we've only got that much more to go. And we've done all of that. Actually, it hasn't been too bad. I've just kind of been like zooming through. Try not to think about the fact that there's this many steps. We finally made it. It is very wet though, which I didn't expect. And it makes sense why now everyone's got umbrellas. <coughs>
So we've now finished at the Batu Caves and we've actually come back to the botanical gardens that we went to yesterday because when we got here it started absolutely chucking it down with rain so we decided to head back because it wasn't a very enjoyable experience and the park is so big that we would have just been absolutely drenched by the time we'd finished so we were like oh if we've got time tomorrow we'll come back so that is what we're doing right now um, and it looks so much nicer. I mean, we are under the trees at the minute, but it does look so much nicer with the sun rather than the rain. So yeah, hopefully we see some nice pretty gardens. There's so many different parts of it to see. So I don't even know if we will get a chance to see them all, but... I think our legs would give up. Yeah. We've got around here. <laughs> that was another thing yesterday. Our legs were absolutely killing us. Like for once it wasn't just me, Harvey actually felt it. So it made me feel a little bit better because the past few times that when my legs have been hurting, Harvey's been like, man, fine. And I'm like, oh, maybe I'm just being a baby. But Harvey's were hurting. So I knew mine actually really must have been hurting. You did well on the steps though. I was impressed. Yeah, that I didn't find the, them as bad. That I was found, the least moaning you've done on them. I know, I genuinely think the big Buddha steps in Phuket, no, not Phuket, no, Pai, so much worse. It's well in Pai though. Like the steps are like those awkward ones. Yeah. Like, like, stretch. Whereas those were just like straight up. Yeah, they were. Like I just went full steam ahead, just up. Yeah. I didn't think about it. Gorgeous the weather is. I do really wish I had some shorts on there now. Because I've got trousers on from obviously going to the cave. Um because it's like a temple. Look at all these fish. There's so many. It's actually kind of hard to see it on the camera. So as you guys will have seen, we just saw there's a fish and it's, I bent down and like pointed at one that was like sort of sticking its head out of the water and what does it do? It jumps out and it bites me. <laughs> Harvey said he wishes he got it on video so we could re-watch it because I could not believe it actually jumped out of the water to then bite me. Harvey said that they don't have teeth but it felt like it bit me, like it felt like it had really tiny teeth and it like scratched me and it bit my finger. But I live to tell the tale, so... I don't know how well you can see, but there's a peacock in the tree. I don't know how it got up there. Can peacocks fly? Sure, no. I thought peacocks would fight with birds. Yeah, I do. Good morning, guys. So, we're now on Penang Island. We arrived here yesterday. We got a five slash six hours, I'd say it was more like six hours, um, bus ride to Penang Island from Kuala Lumpur. So, we got here at like 6 p.m. last night and then we checked into the hotel, dropped our bags off, all that jazz, and then we went for some food. So I didn't really film anything yesterday because we were just so hungry from the bus ride and we didn't have time in the morning to get any extra food. So the first thing we wanted to do was just eat. We didn't really do that much last night, although I must say the thunder and lightning last night actually terrified me. I'm someone who loves thunder and lightning. I've always sat at like my doorstep when I was a child with my mom and I would sit and watch it. Like I've always like just enjoyed watching it. But last night I honestly feared for my life. Like I have never heard thunder so loud and also the lightning was so big and it was directly above us. Like mm. I was paranoid that I was gonna get struck by lightning. So when we were like walking to get food, this was all happening. So we ended up just like rushing into this one restaurant because I was like, I need to get out of this. Like I'm actually terrified. So if Sophie was here, I I don't even know what would have happened. I think she would have actually been screaming and crying because Sophie hates thunder and lightning. But 
I'm the opposite, I love it, but last night it was really scary. And then when we were walking back, it kind of like moved. So then you could just see the lightning. I was like, see, I like it when it's not above me. Um, but yeah, sometimes you can see like the proper like bolts of lightning. And last night they were just absolutely huge. I did try and get it on video, but shock, every time I filmed, it didn't happen. And then as soon as I stopped, it did. And then we kind of just had a night in to chill. It was really nice because the aircon here actually works. As we were staying in Kuala Lumpur, the aircon did not work whatsoever. So we had a few nights of being hot and sweaty. Whereas last night, it was lovely and cold in here. Maybe too cold actually, but I think that might be just because we've been so used to being really hot. But yeah, so we're staying in Armenian Street Heritage Hotel, I think it's called. So it's right next to Armenian Street and we're staying in like Georgetown area on Penang Island. So yeah, today we're gonna go around to Georgetown, gonna see some sights and obviously I'll bring you guys along and show you what we get up to. I washed my hair last night, so my hair is feeling lovely and fresh. I would love to be able to keep it down like this because I do think it looks nice having my hair down for a change, but I just think it's gonna be too hot outside to have my hair down. So I think I'm gonna take my clip with me, but I'm gonna try and keep it down for the meantime. This is my outfit that I'm wearing today. I feel like I haven't actually worn these two together yet, so it kind of feels like a Brand new outfit. Harvey said I look really put together today. Compared to me in gym clothes. <laughs> but yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Got some new earrings when I was in Kuala Lumpur as well, um, which are quite cute. I do wish they were sitting like higher though. They kind of like dangle off the edge of my ear. But Harvey said they still look nice, so I'm gonna wear them. And then I've got my little flip flops on. These are the best flip flops. I've ever bought. These are Archie's flip flops and they've honestly saved my feet. I'm literally obsessed. Like, I wear these most days, don't I? And you'd think normally flip flops, bad idea for when you're walking all day, but I'll just show you. These ones actually have like a little arch in it. I don't know how well you can actually see, but they've got like an arch here. So it stops your foot being like flat. Um, these were a little bit pricey for flip-flops. I think they were like 30 pounds maybe um, But honestly, they have saved my feet like they've been my favorite footwear to wear. They're so comfy um, So we're currently walking to the two jetty but on the way We're stopping and looking at all the different wall art street art. This one's a boy obviously Meant to be sitting on the chair, but the chair is kind of broken So it kind of doesn't give the same effect anymore. Then there was a butterfly with a little kitten and then over there i don't know if you can see there is also another little cat on a swing gorgeous weather today it's nice and warm me and harvey make the mistake though every day of saying oh it's a good temperature today and then within about an hour we feel really hot which way oh back down that way oh there's a little kitty oh there's another little cat oh there's some more down here so we got this one And then you've got this one. Oh. Oh my it? god. Oh, it's there. Yeah. Oh. I was like, wow, they've added sound to really make it work. But it was actually a cat. There's a little key. But yeah, this sort of area is very well known for its street art. So I'll we'll probably be seeing a lot of that throughout the day. But like I said, we're going to walk to the two jetty now and find some more street art all along the way. So I'm into a little cafe and I've got myself a little frappe. This is their signature chocolate and hazelnut frappe and it tastes delicious. This is what it looks like. Food has arrived. Mm, this looks so good. Me and Harvey got the exact same. <laughs> Go on, babe. Okay. Get them chocolates. Oh, you've got it. Harvey struggles a little bit with chopsticks, just, don't you? I'm a hit and miss. Some days I can. Some days you can do it quite well. It is like a learning, <laughs> a learning process. He's like, nah, nah, I'm fuck. But yeah, this is katsu curry and then chicken gyozas. Good. Good. Lots of flavour. Guys, that food was honestly 
so good. Like both me and Harvey said, that's probably the best katsu curry we've ever had. Like neither of us really tend to up for a katsu curry because we both kind of think it's a bit overrated. But that was just incredible. And it had cheese in it as well. I would never think to add cheese into a katsu curry. But oh my God, it was absolutely incredible. So I'll insert a clip of the outside of the cafe, like restaurant. So if any of you guys are interested in going, you can go. But it doesn't look like it's gonna be that good from the outside. Like it's kind of like a hidden gem. Cause me and Harvey actually went in it first and they were like, oh, like, no, we'll go and see if there's anywhere else. And then we ended up going back to it. And then we both said at the end of our meal, we're so glad that we went back because it was honestly so good. So good recommendation there if you do want to go. But we're now going to continue our walk to the Chew Jetty. And then after that, I think, did you say we're doing a museum thing? 3D Glow in the Dark Museum. 3D Glow in the Dark Museum so we're going to go to. What? How's it was? Oh, you want to go in? So we've now come into Magic World. Oh, you're there. That is weird. See, I was in your... Oh, I was going to walk all the way there. Is that what you thought? Yeah, I thought you were over there. It was here. Well, let me do it. Where? <laughs> what the hell? It's so confused, it didn't work. What the hell? Can you just... I'm so confused. At least you just came that way. I'm actually fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You can literally see everything. But I cannot get over that we are this high up. We're now paying for a binocular. Let's have a little look. Can you see? Yeah, of course. What can you see? I can see that massive ferry. Well, yeah, I can see that. I can see some waving. since I last vlogged. We went up Penang Hill and unfortunately, a lot of it was closed. I think that's partially maybe because it is going into rainy season now. So I think they're doing renovations. Harvey's walking off without me. <laughs> um, but then we came back, chilled in the hotel room for a little bit and then we went for food. We went back to the same place that we went for lunch yesterday because it was absolutely unreal and we just really fancied it again. It was quick, easy and we're good to go. But now we're walking to go and get our washing because we took our washing this morning to a lady so she could wash it for us. And then we can pick it up the same day because we are actually leaving tomorrow. So we're currently on our way to go and pick up our washing. However, a storm is a brewing. Um, them clouds are not looking very hurtful. And we have to walk back with obviously our new freshly washed clothes 
that are nice and dry, all folded away nicely for us. Washing is secured and the rain has still not rained properly yet. It is starting to spit a little bit now. So we are full speed ahead. Guys, we are now in Langkawi. First stop from a and &E. <laughs> Basically, when we arrived at the airport in uh, where we just come from, Penai, I basically just fell over. Actually, I didn't fall over, I slipped. Like, my Crocs are so slippy. I was actually saying yesterday, I feel like I need some new Crocs. I think all the grip on the inside of my shoes and also the outside of my shoes has really, like, deteriorated. And I slipped, fell over, straight onto my hands and knees, and I really hurt my toe. And I was like, I'm not gonna look at it, I'm not gonna look at it. And then when we were seeing the queue, I looked at it, and I've basically pulled the nail off of my tar. So I wanna go and get it checked just to make sure that like, I need it to be cleaned. And then I also need to know if the nail needs to come off or not. And it, ju it just needs wrapping up or something because. So I'm gonna book up the hospital and I'll go for an X-ray on my toe. Big slayer. So guys, I actually ended up having surgery on my toe. Slayer. So it is now the next day. We're gonna attempt to go for food. I have a sock on my foot to try and cover the bandage so that I can just try and walk without the crutches because the floor is so hot and the crutches have made my whole body ache. So I'm gonna attempt to walk without them because I feel like I can. It's just the floor was so hot yesterday that it really hurt. And also yesterday it was a lot more painful than it is today. Yeah, I need to go and get the like dressing changed and everything today as well, which I'm not really looking forward to because it means I'll have to look at the toe. I mean, obviously I don't have to look, but I probably will look just so I can see what it looks like. I don't really know what we're gonna do with the rest of the day because it kind of does look like it's gonna rain. And obviously if it rains, I can't be outside because I can't get my foot wet for two weeks. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I had a shower last night and I put it in a plastic bag, um, but it's still, the water still managed to like seep down. Luckily it didn't go on the bandage, but I just, yeah, I don't wanna get caught in the rain. So if we get caught in the rain, it is gonna get soaked. <laughs> It's been a few days, but I'm back finally filming because I'm actually finally able to walk now. They took the bandage off a couple of days ago, but I still can't get it wet. And now I don't know if you can see, but it is raining. So yeah, I'm praying that we can get to some shelter pretty quick because I really don't want anything to go wrong with my foot because I get my stitches out in like three days and then we're planning on moving country. would just be our luck that it's heavy, foggy and cloudy, so therefore the sky bridge is closed. <laughs> able to go on the cable cars, but we're not able to go on the sky bridge because the sky bridge closed. So we're still gonna do the cable cars so that we've not come all this way and it'd be a waste. Oh, he's scared. He doesn't like heights. Whoa, we're actually quite high. Look how high we are. Jeez. <laughs> Honestly, look how high we're about to go. <laughs> I actually feel disgusted right now. My hands are dripping. <laughs> I don't actually know how well you can see, but we are actually in the clouds. That's how high up we are. How are you feeling? Petrified right now. <laughs> We've arrived at the top and this is all you can see. Just clouds. Oh my god, 
you literally cannot see anything. It's now just cleared up slightly, so you can see how high we are. Look at all them clouds. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 